okay without taking it out. Five and three quarters. So if I make a box like this, based on the ratio that they have for the length of the bars to the box, I can make the length of the bar to box ratio right here and hang that resident box right there. Let's try that. Hello YouTube. Well, today I'm going to work on this here marble machine and inside the bottom here, I think I mentioned it before that there is a bell that I made out of this uh, bar and uh, it does a good job of ringing. It just has no volume and in my experience now with working with this doorbell and learning why that is so loud because of these reson resonators here, which are just basically an empty box. So what I'm going to do today is measure out the, the dimensions of these things and see if I can't replicate a box for this marble machine and make this thing louder based on this very same principle. Okay, so let's first go over what I do know and then what I don't know. I do know that they made these things non-interchangeable. This one will not go on that side and this one will not go on that side because of the distance of these prongs. So that's some pretty good engineering right there. So these boxes also are different lengths based on what I don't know. So I think that uh, because they have the almost exactly the same height, and almost the exact same depth across and this one is almost two inches and this one is almost two inches so they're both the same dimension wise boxes except for the length so i'm hoping that the length of these is very very connected to the length of these if it has to do with the pitch or the key that these are in and then the box has to do with the volume on the inside i'm going to have a more difficult time because i'd have to find the pitch of the marble machine uh the key that that is in and then calculate out the uh the box volume that i'm going to need I'm going to go off my first idea in that it is not volume related and key related that the tuning is they got it down to just the length so i'm going to build myself a pla box for the marble machine based on that let's do some calculating okay first off i need to measure the length uh, this in here and it is five and a half inches so so the marble machine bill equals 5.5 inches. And on these, since this is the smaller one, I'm going to go with the full length, not where the nodes are, because the nodes will always be in a standard place. This one is, it's a little longer, 5 and a 16th. All right, so... Bell one is the high pitch equals five and one sixteenth. The longer one five and five eighths. So bell two is the lower pitch. So the box and the box. So the higher pitch box is two and one quarter. Two one quarter length. And the lower pitch box is let's call that close enough to three quarters two and three quarters length so this is a difference here probably the relationship is very close so i'm going to calculate out that relationship and then apply it to this 5.5 inches 
Okay, it's not my intention to turn this into a math class, but I just calculated it out on the side to make this a little bit short, to make it easier. So this one here is approximately 44%, and this one is 48 to 50%. So the length of this box is approximately 50% of the length of the bar. And then the length of this box is approximately 44% of this bar. So since my bar is closer to the length of the longer one, I'm going to go with the higher percentage here and just use a 50%. So 50% of 5.5 equals 2 and 3 fourths. Now this is approximation, so my box is going to be very close to the same box as this one. Now, if it's related to pitch, this means nothing. But I've got a lot of PLA. i got a lot of this stuff to use up, so I'm not worried about wasting any. Let's build a little box, shall we? Okay, so I am going to try to replicate this box for a box that's going to sit here. And because of the way that these things here are designed, this opening is right over this padded area on this side of the pin. So I'm going to do the same thing and set my box over this to see if it resonates like these do. Because by themselves... three or four marbles down the track so you can hear what it currently sounds like. So basically, that's what I had. I had to cut this piece of wood out because it was a little bit large there. So I'm going to go directly on it and then bring it up just a tad. Let's see how one marble sounds. <laughs> I would call that an outstanding success. Try that again. I would say it's at least twice as loud. Yes. Just have to figure out a way to clamp this in. Okay, I've thought about it and come up with an idea. 
this thing needs to just sit over this this bell and up just an eighth of an inch or or less but it just happens to sit perfectly flat with this piece of wood so i'm going to make a slat and glue it down on here it's going to come up and go over and down so all it has to do is sit on this board and hang right there let's see how well that works So I made this wraparound strap and then glued it down. I had to add a little bit underneath it to raise it up a little bit because it was just sitting on the bottom. And so as I tilt it, you can see that I am just off of that bar on the end of the bar. And now this thing plays a great tune. So let's hum a few bars, three to be exact. That sounds great. It actually works. So much like a guitar string passes over the opening on the base of the guitar, these sound waves are coming off the end of this bar and going resonating up inside of here and being magnified. How that works, I have no clue, but it works. And it sure was a great invention, something that was already invented, but I figured it might work for here and it does. I would call this a resounding success. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.